my wife were like, hey, you know what? Let's just hang out Christmas as a family. And then we're going to start getting our house ready to sell because we don't want to live in this community anymore. My mindset was, okay, there's some great people out there that are willing to stand up and do the right thing. But most people are just going to do nothing and say nothing. Am I going to sacrifice my family because most of Canada will say and do nothing? Well, and then the convoy happened. And you see like this massive momentum building as it comes across Canada. And you see like this huge train of vehicles. And all everywhere they go, there's just massive crowds receiving them as they're making their way across Canada. And it just like, it just starts to buzz, right? Like everyone is talking about it. Hey, there's way more of us than I thought, right? <laughs> way more of us yeah. out there than I thought. I, I had no idea that <laughs> I was wandering into this group of people that's going to like try and like basically host the free, this massive convoy of trucks and, and vehicles coming across the country. <laughs> I was just like, and so I'd go out and check things out and see what was going on. And then I would come back to the Swiss to be like ready to go for the day. I was probably averaging maybe two to three hours of sleep a night. Forever grateful, man. Like, I've, I've said it before and it always gets me a little, whew, but I will never forget what they did for me and my family, ever. So, I'm forever in debt to them. Mm.